Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul. So we're going to be doing the expedition. And as you can see, uh, the Singularity Expedition. Uh, I've gotten my time down on my own private runs down to about an hour and 29 minutes. Um, obviously, Jason, you know, did it on his third try in an hour. But hey, let's see how far I can go with this. I've got a couple of ideas. I have some notes written down on what I'm supposed to get and things like that. And I might have some new ideas on how to get certain things. So... Watch the run, see what you think, and we're going to go from there. Um, so we're going to do a new run. This is just recorded. And I am going to get a timer going. Get that turned on here. There it is. And we're going to pull in the timer. There we go. There we go. Back to audio for the game. There we go. Okay, good deal. So, as you can see, we have the timer on there. We'll start the timer, and like you all know, the timer is not perfectly accurate. It just gives us a method of tracking how we're doing without actually exiting the game and checking every single time. So, I found that my hour and 29 minute run took about an hour and 54 minutes real time. So, we're going to try some certain things here. I'm going to use my ship a little bit more to gather resources. So I'm going to see what we can do about getting that going here. All right, here we go. We're starting up. Start our timer. Now these scenes here, like this, they don't record into the game time. Um, going into your menu to check the expedition and milestones, that doesn't record. Hyperspace doesn't record. Certain things don't record as time. So, let's see where we are. There's a few different spots it starts us in. I'm not sure which spot this is. I think it's the one near the water. It looks like it could be. Could be. Not sure. We'll find out in a minute. And... There we go. Yeah, go ahead and scan these guys, because there's only five on the planet, and three of them are in the air, and two are in the water. And we are in the water here. We have water down there, but this is a different spot that I'm used to starting in. So I need certain elements to start with. We're going to get the ferrite dust that we need to begin with because we need it. Uh, we're going to definitely need some carbon. But I'm not going to gather a ton of it like I usually do. I'm just going to get enough to get by. Just enough to charge things up. Okay, that's good for now. Um, we're going to switch over to terrain manipulator. You know, it seems kind of odd, but I'm going to gather up. I'm going to be moving my terrain manipulator over to another multi-tool. So I want enough to charge it. So we're going to make our own uh, cave here. <laughs> I get about 400 or so is what I usually get. It only requires about 170 to 180 to charge it up, so I just want to play it safe and have enough for two charges. Okay, that should be enough. All right. I want the multi-tool. I haven't seen this one yet, so I don't know what kind of multi-tool it is. I always go in there and back out again because it gets in quicker. Nine. Really, 15 and then four. So, we'll do the four first. Nine. Fifteen. Deactivate multi-tool. I'm going to go right back in because I want the ship as well. And we'll be able to see where our ship is. All the way over there. Okay, I think I know this particular run. And I thought there was a ship nearby, but... Anyway, it's not important. Okay. So we're going to get our multi-tool. Probably a C-class. No, it's a B-class this time. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's even got a bolt caster already on there. Okay. We need to switch over, which I should have done before, so I'm already wasting time. 
to the multi-tool. we got to pull this out. Uh, anything else in this multi-tool we need? No. Okay. Let's switch back. Into here. Um, it doesn't look like we have any... thing we can use in here. I'm going to put this over here. And put you over there. And now we can, now we can charge it. We're also going to install our mining beam. We need more ferrite dust. So we're going to do that right now. Yep, I know, I know. Cut it out. Where's our ship at? Uh, so we need to do one more thing here before we leave. Obviously, kind of stupid. I didn't think of this before. Scan. It'll give us a icon here. Let's go ahead and grab this first item. Same thing I do on the other one, because it's easier. Three... 9.15 And hopefully I'm doing my math right or else it's going to delay me further. Okay. And we'll get that. I forgot to gather all these things up because there's actually elements in them that we could use. And occasionally you'll get an upgrade. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's get this charged up. We want rusted metal. Begin. 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 Uh, I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to keep that. That's worth money. Uh, we got some pure ferrite out of that. That's excellent. We could really use that. Let's get rid of you. I'm going to put the ferrite here, that there. We're going to stick you over to the side. We have a supercharged slot. I'm going to put you down here. That's in a supercharged slot already. We're going to move you over and put you there. I can't move you right now. I'm going to put you over here. Okay, good. We're all set. Let's go. Um, so we need more stuff, and we're going to get it as we go. Now, one other thing I'm going to do is I'd really like to get my mining laser put in here once we get our hermetic seal, which we should get right there. Okay, and we will get that because we're going to gather up those crystals, I promise you. Um, I'm not going to gather any cobalt yet. I'm going to get by it from the space station. Forgot it has a uh, thing on there. Let's just gather these up real quick. I know I'm making some, but I want to get some more. Just a little more carbon. I think our... Yeah, it is. It's done. So now this is done. Alright. Let's see what we can get on the way. Uh, ship. Where's my ship at? Should be right there. So that's the direction we're headed. I do need these because I, I need to get this multi-tool fixed up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and get that done. The only reason I want to come back to this planet is if I is to get my ship. Go up the slope. Let's just grab it. I'm not getting anything from it right now, so there should be a snapper plant up here someplace that's gonna break my ankles. The oxygen will come in handy. We're not even going to worry about life support modules. We'll just have enough oxygen to get by. That's all we need. We don't want to go crazy with that. Ship's there straight ahead. We do need this. The hydrogen is definitely going to be needed. And with this laser, we should get... usually get a geo or a crystal out of it. There it is. Okay. Well, we found the snapping plant, right? Very little damage taken from those things. 
Atlantidian is there. We can't get the, the other Radiant Shards yet, but we can get these. Ah, what, what an outcropping we can get here. But, that's okay. Take this guy all the way down. Yep, I remember this starting point. I don't particularly care for it. Okay, so we can build some of the things here right now. We don't have condensed carbon right now, so we'll need... Is it 30? I think it's 30. Yes. Okay. But we can make... Uh, let's see here. Metal plate. We need that. Let's go ahead and grab it. Uh, we need pure ferrite, and we need a dihydrogen jelly. There we go. Means we should be able to fix our starship. There we go. Uh, let's move some stuff around real quick, because things need to be where they need to be. Okay, we're good. That's it. Alright, we're in good shape to get going. Is there anything here we can use... Uh, not really. Uh, we're gonna do a little strafing. No, not you. We're actually gonna head back the way we came just a little bit, because I like the water. And I'm gonna... Let me just go ahead and do this real quick, because I like to. I gotta wait for everything to pull in. Uh, it's not pulling anything in right now. Ugh, that's annoying me. I ran into something, it's okay. And our... You're already overheated, isn't that correct? process with that guy. Okay, so we need two things. We need crystal sulfides. I'm not even going to worry about salt. We can buy it. Entities. There should be one more after this. There that is. That'll get us our nanites real quick. There we go. Done with that. And we need crystal sulfides. So we just got to find the crystals. You know what? We should actually grab... Some of those. We'll need the pearls later on, but we're going to get them as a prize. There's some crystal sulfide over there to the right. Okay. And that'll give us some money. Now you're going to see me doing something very interesting here. Hold on. Okay. Let's go back down. Yep, you see me killing the fish, right? Basically, what it's giving me is the Mordite. What is Mordite? Mordite is... It has a 3 to 1 ratio when you put it in your refiner to give you BCM. We need 100 BCM later on. And I found this is the easiest method of getting it. I don't mind killing fish. I do mind killing other animals for some reason. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So we need 300 Mordite. And there's plenty of fish in the sea. Sorry. Usually they just keep coming and coming and they repopulate as you take them out. They, more of them will show up. And I will check every now and then to 
to see where we're at. How much do we have? We've already got 193 Mordite. Get me wrong. Yeah, we got some salt down here. Which we can get if we want. But we got these guys, we gotta contend with. Every single time. salt do we have? Almost 200. That should be enough salt. We just need a little bit more... more dive. We need 50 more more dive. So, let's see. We're at 300. Okay, we're done. I see something down there. I'm rambling. We're about 15 minutes in now. enough to get by for the time being. Where's my ship? I know, I say that to nearly every episode. And again, I would love to build an advanced mining laser right now. If I had had an upgrade, I could have gotten... I needed two wiring looms to build it, and I do not have wiring looms. get this particular one out of the way too. This is one of the milestones to get Atlanta DM, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Do we have? 219. We're almost there. We're literally almost there. There we go. Any second here. There we go. Got it. Alright, let's get out of here. So we've got a good amount of stuff, but we're going to need more. Okay, we didn't really get a whole lot out of that. This will give us 
one of the things we're looking for. There. We want to put this back on our ship. And you'll see we got one of the wiring looms. If we had one more, we'd be all set, but we don't have it, so we're going to just deal with it. Alright, so we're in space. We need to go there. And we just need to get the achievement. There it is. Wow. Alright. We need to go there. Which is going to bring us to uh, a planet. There is so much stuff around here by people. I've got to have to scan. All these bases people have made. Go on us. Okay, so I'm going to put this in our ship. We don't need to keep it here. Let's move some things around. Keep the batteries. Keep all the things that we're going to put in the ship over here. We're going to sell that and that. We don't need that. Keep the salt. That's going to go on the ship as well. That's going to go on the ship as well. salt from under the water we would have gotten to deposit. I don't need any more salt, so we should be good. Oh, crap. <laughs> Overshot. Alright, we're going to hit this terminal. Got some things to sell. Uh, let's see. Don't sell the quad servo. You need that. Uh, let's see. Where are you? There you go. Solar mirror. Huh. I thought I would get a lot more for the living pearls. I thought they were worth a lot more than that. So we're not going to have much money here. Alright. What do we want to buy? Uh, we need... A microprocessor, which is most of our money. We need four of those. And I think that should do it. I don't think we can get anything else. Yeah, we can't even get the cobalt we want. That's okay. We'll get something here in a minute and sell it. No, I'm not reading it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Come on. Yep, I know. I know. We are going to build that right down here, which we should have all the things we need. See, I got the microprocessor and the four metal plates ahead of time. Put that up there while I'm thinking of it. Uh, let's see. We need to go back in here. We've assembled the first construct. Give it a second. There it is. And we'll get some more items from that. There we go. And that's going to give us our advanced mining laser, which we really wanted earlier, but that's okay. And teleport receiver we're not going to put in this ship. We don't need to. Scanner module, though, is very handy. There we go. Anything else? That'll be it for now. Um, did we actually get something that we can sell? I thought we did. I guess we didn't. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do next step. We didn't get any money, right? No, we didn't. We're gonna go to the... There we go. We're going to head up here to this copper deposit up there. 
on the way, we're going to get some stuff. We would hit this salt deposit if we needed it. We don't need it anymore. Guess what? This is all very nice ferrite dust that we can pick up as we go. Including all this dihydrogen we have over here. There's not a lot of it, but there's enough. Ah, sorry. Don't worry about your toxic protection. You will not run out, I promise. I just know where the copper deposit is because I've been there so many times now. Okay. We need about 500 copper. Probably only 400. I'd like to get 500 plates safe. We're doing okay. This isn't the fastest run I've had. But we're going to see how we can make it up. With the upgrades put in place, we should be getting more items. We're already up to 100 copper, so that's good. This is a huge deposit. If you wanted to get it all, you're going to end up with about 1,200 to 1,300 copper. You don't need that. Keep an eye on what you're getting. You should only need about 450 to 500. The facium you needed because later on you're going to be building lubricants and it requires at least 100 facium. So you want to get that early on. Because getting it from the planets later on and wanting to kill animals is up to you, but if you just want to feed them and wait for them to poop it out, well, that just takes too long. So I get it from sea creatures because it's faster. And I don't feel bad about hurting the fish. I don't know why. I just don't. Okay, we're at 400. Keep going. I'm trying to stay in front of my microphone. I tend to move around a little bit. I apologize. All right, we're almost there. There we go. 500. We've made it. Back the way we came. Now, if you want some launch fuel, you can get it from that guy over there. I'm telling you, you need a lot of ferrite dust, just go ahead and gather it. There's certain planets you can get it from that you can get a lot more. Alright, am I even lined up with this thing? There it is. Okay, good. Because... I'm going to get this while I'm here. I'm only going to get two of them out of there. And I don't really need this. I'm going to get it anyway. See? Starship launch room. I'm going to get some cargo room down here. Yes, I can. Since I'm not having a good time doing it for my ship, I'm going to have to get it the old-fashioned way. The more carbon I can get, the better. There is a planet that you get to that just taking out a couple of trees will get you what you're looking for. Now we do have to hit the second space station. We're going to get plenty of supplies there, so I'm not going to bother selling anything here. I can't get on my ship. Ugh. Well, I don't like solar ships. That ship right there. I think it's heading. It's just heading towards a planet. I can't seem to lock in on it. Because there's so many bases on the planet that everybody's made that it's really driving us up the wall. Alright, I got a little bit more dihydrogen. We need more. Let's put you in here. Pull out the PCM that we've got. Get that going. Technology recharge. 
Alright, and chromatic metal is being made. So we're going to be selling you later. And I don't think we need you, and it's not worth much, but I'll hang on to it just for now. Okay. Just want to recharge everything and make sure we're where we need to be. Okay. As I said. So many bases on the planet. It's good to see. Aimed at a base instead. Now what we're looking for, even though we're looking for the ship, we are looking for radiant shards. We need them. And we also are looking for a friendly little guy that we can break down and get mirrors from. Look at our radar up ahead and we can see it. I think there's one down here someplace, but I don't see him at the moment. Okay, let's land at the ship. It's, it's clear. It's clear. Just drop the left down. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Alright, I'm not even going to bother with the ship yet. Ah, we do need that. Let's go ahead and grab that while we're here. Alright, good. Radiant shards, where do we have some? There's some down there. Some over there. Can we get them from here? No. I'll take the oxygen though, thank you. Yeah, we can just barely get them from here. We need three of them to get this ship going. Okay. Some more over here. Let's go ahead and grab them. is not going to be my best run, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, that gets us the three, but as you know, we need more. We'll need a lot more. And we do need a mirror. Inverted mirror. There should be one up this way. Let me go ahead and head that way. Gathering up as much of that stuff as I can get. Radiant shard, radiant shard. Keep them going. We need 16 all total to get that particular achievement. So we'll continue to get some as we go. God, I love this laser. <laughs> ah, there's our dissonant resonator. We will take him from a distance. And that way we can escape the clutches of the sentinels. That's it planted to be in That's a radiant shard. There may be some radiant shards in the way. We've got some condensed carbon over there that we really could use. We'll probably get it on the way back, but I saw it, and I'm taking it. All right. There's our dissonant. And we're going to get him from a distance, like I said. Is there a radiant shard nearby? There is. We'll go ahead and take that first. Good. No, I can't hit him from here. I actually saw something real quick. I want to grab it. Actually, no, I'm not going to. Let's just go ahead and take him out. And when the damage stops, you can run away. Watch. See? It stopped. Now I'll just run. Because he's done. I just got my inverted. Let them search. There may be some popping up in front of you. 
But if you get the timer, there we go, we're done. Okay, good. Excellent. Let's head back to our ship, which is over there. Uh, yes, I'm gonna run. I could just call in my ship and fly back real quick, but there's items we need on the way. You know we need carbon. Latidium is always a good thing. We'll need a ton of it because we got some things we need to repair on our multi-tool, which we'll get to when we get to our first atlas. There we go. Alright, let's head out. Let's get over to the ship. So we have an inverted mirror. We got at least three radiant shards, which we have more of anyway. I'll grab some sodium on the way. We don't really need it. Ships over there. We got some more radiant shards over here. I'm gonna go for the radiant shards because, again, that's an achievement. The sooner we get it, the better. That's probably Atlantidium. Yeah, I was right. Okay, really focusing. Sorry. now. That's what we're doing here. A great mining laser, isn't it? Any more radiant shards anywhere? A shame. What we can do, though, is get this nice condensed carbon, which we will definitely need some more of. All right. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Too bad I don't have a chance to fight you right now. I have no weapons except this stupid bolt caster, which isn't going to hurt you much. All right, there's our ship and our other ship. The other ship is about to be our ship. You can check the thing on the other side to see if you can get something from it, but it's really not worth our time. So we'll get a few more radiant shards and then we should be good. Actually, let's check what we got. Oh, we got 14, wow. Yeah, we're almost there. Eh, map we can sell. We only got a few more to go. Okay. Let's, uh, grab our other ship real quick. The Sentinel Boundary map we can sell. We don't really need it. There it is. Well, it's just behind us, per se. And there should be some more Radiant Shards over there. Looks like we only need, like, two more. And we're done. Somewhere behind yeah, us, good. Uh, I parked way too far away. It's alright. Like I said, not the best run in the world. That should do it. There it is. Yeah, not gonna worry about the rest right now. Up the stairs. Okay, We're done. I'm gonna go back to our new ship. This should have plenty of go juice in it to get us launched and out there. I wish I could have just jumped right into my ship, but yeah, this is what happens sometimes. as we can right now. Okay. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Oh, got two supercharged slots right next to each other. We're done. Let's go. 
I really should have put the stuff in the right place, but that's okay. We're gonna get out of here. I need to recharge first with the radiant shark. Um, where is our? It's our hyperdrive. Yes. There we go. Let's go. And we're off to the Atlas. Uh, right there. The great thing about this ship is not only the fact that it can hover, it's got an ex exceedingly far hyperspace ability. Usually they default between the six and 700 range. But into a slot like that, it gives it almost a thousand. So that's really, really good. Can't do anything in hyperspace. But take this time as you approach the Atlas and it starts pulling you in on the auto landing sequence to go into your areas here and make sure everything's where it needs to be. Prepare some stuff. I'm gonna use that here. Not radiant shard, not going to DM. Inverted mirror, inverted mirror. That one should be landing soon. Crystallized parts, Lantidium, should be one more we can repair. There it is. And we're done. Get out. So you see, timing, efficiency, it's the way to do it, folks. Use the spots where you don't have any choice but to wait to do things that you need to get done. And watch your ears. not even going to accept the fact that we completed the expedition until, or that milestone until we get back to our ship and start taking off. So we're going to go here and collect our reward. We need to go in here and we're going to produce our first thing. Uh, we need chromatic metal. Of course we do, because I left it in my... Uh, in that inventory. You know what? While we're here, we need that. We're gonna do some things here. I know. I should have done this earlier. Things that we don't need in the inventory here. Okay, there we go. Starship. Okay, so we're gonna make that seed. There we go. And we're gonna head towards the space station. a radiant shard this time rather than some Atlantidium. That's nice. I didn't know that. I don't know why that, that troubles so, the ship in, but there you are. I always put these down here. Uh, and we can accept our collective reward. We got a hundred thousand units and now we can buy stuff. We're gonna put this in the hyperdrive that into our ship, uh, in our inventory, I should say, of our exosuit, and we're going to sell some stuff. We don't need the gold at all, or the gold nuggets, so sell it. Get your one exosuit upgrade while you're here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it there, because it's right in the middle of my inventory, and it's annoying the lonely enemy not having the ability to do anything else there. Sell. Salvage data, we do not need it. I'm gonna get rid of the launch fuel now. We don't need it anymore. The central bounty map doesn't give us much, but that does. Buy. We need two hydraulics and one magnetic. Uh, we don't need any more of those. We don't need any more of those. Uh, getting the pure ferrite is not a bad idea. We got the money to do it. And get yourself the ferrite dust and the cobalt, as much as you can get. I'm gonna get myself an unstable plasma because I like to have one on hand for later. Alright, I think we've got everything. I would like to get some more cobalt.
because we need ionized cobalt. Move. Move, move, move. Come on. We're just going to hit the other trade terminal real quick because there's more stuff over there. We will be hitting one other space station, I think, throughout the whole thing. So you see the, you know, ferrite dust and the cobalt are already used up. Uh, we got the magnetic resonator. Oh, magnetized ferrite. That's right. We need that. Okay, we got what we need. Alright. I knew there was something else we needed out of there. Okay, so we've got... a good amount of stuff already. We need Gamma Root. It's going to be our next thing to get. Alright, so, we'll get that later. Let's move on. Our next step. There we go. I always do that. There we go, on our way. Again, hyperspace doesn't count, so we're about 45 minutes. We're about to complete the first phase. The other phases should go rather quickly from this point forward, because we have the salt, we have the copper, we've got atlantidium to hydrogen, the three crystal sulfides, the carbon, probably the other one. Uh, we've got our mordite, which turned into fecium. We've got cobalt, we need more. We have salt, two hydraulics. We need Gamma Root. So that's the next thing we're going to get. So Gamma Root we're going to pick up before we even get to Phase 4. Because uh, there's an easier planet to get it from that is not as dangerous and not as mountainous. But we'll pick that up on the way. We just need 600 of that. So usually two croppings, maybe three, and we should be able to get all, all, all that we need. You get rewarded with 200 more at one point, so you need 400 and 400 to make two um, lubricants as well as the 50 to 50 PCM or 100 PCM, which we've got now. So we planned ahead. This is part of the whole thing. This is how you do speed runs. Finding these stupid places is a pain in the neck. Occasionally I run across it much quicker than I try, but running into these little camps are, it's, it's not fun. I want to say, let me try over here. That might be it right there. Because somebody put a base, yeah, there it is. There's the first one. Wow, okay, I got fortunate here. Now, we may not get the achievement. There we go. I landed in a hole somebody put there. Okay, and I already got the reward. I'm going to get these rewards anyway, because we need them, so that can stop complaining to us. Okay, we got that one. Okay, we got to go to the second pilgrimage. There's really not much more to do here. If you want to grab the harmonic scraps while you're here, go ahead. Um, you'll get some nice stuff out of it. And I'm not going to bother checking everything else, so let's go ahead and get out of here. We just need to go to the second rendezvous. So we're going to get the achievement later. We'll go ahead and, you know, get the stuff from the milestone in a minute. Once we get out of hyperspace and we start on our way to the next planet. Uh, it's going to be up there. Whoop, not you. You. I know you want to try to get that milestone and get the stuff out of it that you could, but it's better to wait. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I know I'm in the system. Thank you. Alright, so we're in phase two. We're going to complete the second pilgrimage. We've already got the achievements for that, so this is where we're going next. Um, we've got some nice stuff that we ended up in our inventory here. We're going to get rid of certain things. Take that. Paralysis mortar is always a good thing. And you remember that unstable plasma? Yeah, that's what I got it for. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll just take it for now. It's not going to do me any good. Optical drill. Uh, we're going to put this in our ship. Another update grade for that. Bounced off the atmosphere. <laughs> That's what happens when you're in there. And see, it took me someplace else completely because of all the bases on the planet. So, I'm going to say again, if anyone watches this, please stop putting so many bases on the planet. It's killing us. It really, really is. Alright, this one's also a pain in the neck to find. I think it's on a mountainside, if I remember correctly. Is that it? No. No, that wasn't it. But it's on a mountainside. There is a base there, but there are literally so many bases here, you can't find it. Because everybody wanted to put their bases here. And if I remember correctly, it's like on the other side of the mountain, I think. Up higher. Is this it? This is it. Wow, okay. Two for two. Alright, anything else I need to do in here? Magnetized ferret, we'll put you over here. I'm gonna stick you in this, and I've got something in there. High and ice cobalt. We'll get more later. Okay. And it's not registering that we're there yet, so select it again. There it goes. Okay. This time you have to hit it. Attempt. Get out. Go back in. Uh, 7, 13, and 2. See, it's a lot quicker this way. 13, 13, 13. Dump. Finalize. Done. Okay. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. We'll grab some of the other stuff and then we'll get going. Yeah, that should do. Did we grab everything? Enough. We grabbed enough. Where's our ship at? It's on the edge, wasn't it? Yeah, here it is. Okay, what else do we need to do? Get a thousand nanites out of that. We gotta collect that part. We need three carbon nanotubes to make that. Come on. I know, I know. So there it is. Three carbon nanotubes, right? And we can construct it. And we're going to put this in here someplace. Not if I put it up here. Uh, oh, we got a storm crystal out of it. That's nice. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, I didn't need to get rid of that. Oh, well. It's all right. So much stuff. I'm putting stuff in the wrong places now. There we go. And we're moving on. Let's get out of here. We gotta go to our next Atlas interface, so we'll go ahead and do that. Click left. And there it is. into the Atlas station, we'll go ahead and clean up more inventory. So we're not quite at the an hour mark as far as our main timer is concerned, as you can see, but I'm sure we're closer to like 35 minutes, give or take. Okay, into the Atlas. And there. Okay, so let's check out what we have. We've got everything we need there. Let's go over here and collect our reward. Alright, we've got hazmat gauntlets, so now we can get our... Let me get out of there real quick. There. So we got our hazmat gauntlets, so we can get other things. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in our inventory here we need. Nope. Okay, we're done. Now put us on the far side this time, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Go, 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 go. I know you 
get warp cells from those things, but you really don't need them. So it's just a couple seconds here and there. There's really no reason to do it. Okay, come on. Yep, thank you. Oi. Okay, we don't need to do anything there. We need to go here, get our achievement. We've got to make our new seed. We have the ability to do so. And there's a preemptive tab. Okay, and we're done with number two. No jokes, please. Yep. So we're on to phase three. Phase 3 pilgrimage, here we go. Um, so guess what? See how close that planet is? And it happens to have Gamma Root on it. And we have our Azmat Gauntlets. This is the best place to go ahead and get some Gamma Root. Because the planet is fairly flat. It's not very mountainous. It looks like it at first, but as you get closer you realize that these are just small hills. So find your first outcropping of Gamma Root. Should show up fairly easily. Just head in the direction. I usually try to go cardinal directions if it's at all possible until you find some gamma root. Gamma root is pretty easy to see from above. Just keep searching. Let's go over here. And this planet actually does have quite a bit of it, but it's just being recalcitrant right now. It doesn't even need to show up. It's always going to be populated there. Wow, okay. I am not having a good time here. Hundreds and hundreds of bases on this planet. Oh my gosh, really? And here I it's calling me, calling me out to be a liar here. Is that? No, it's not. Okay, this is not good. I tell you, there's tons of gamma root on this planet. And it's calling me out to be a liar. Unbelievable. Lots of copper. Wow. Okay, this... This is bad. I should have found some by now. I should already have collected the first cropping of it. And I'm looking at my scanner above, too, to see if there's any here. Okay, what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to get on foot here in just a minute and look for it. Yeah, okay, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go into discoveries real quick. A little thing catalog, pardon me. Materials, go to plants, and you want gamma root. So now it's pinned. Oh, land already, come on. And look. Alright, it's got some over here, and we will call in our ship in just a minute. So we're gonna just. You know what? Our jetpack isn't strong enough. Let's just. Go. We have it marked. There's some right there. Like I said, you should be able to see it from the ground, or from the sky. Ugh. We will get upgrades for our jetpack, I promise. Okay, should be a couple more over here. Oh, there was two of them. I didn't see this one for some reason. Okay, 
All right, so how much did we get? 174. We need a lot more than that. Now the trick, once you find it the first time, you don't need to find it a second time. Oh, come on. Is find a direction so you're here. We're going to go north, and we should run into more croppings of it on the ley lines. So there should be another cropping coming up here very, very shortly. And watch your radar at the top here. You can see it. Again, it's going to call me out to be a liar. Like I said, this planet, though, is very calm. It's not going to cause us any problems. I've yet to have a storm here every time I've been here. A little extra oxygen bonus. Okay, over here. Good. This is a good cropping. All right. How much did that net us? We're up to 400. Need one more cropping of it, and we should be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. I just wanted more. Too bad. Okay. Again, we're going to head north from this cropping. As north as we can go, and look for another one. Should be one. <laughs> no, thank you. There it is. Up there on the ridge. Excellent. Yeah, landing area up there. Well, that's part and parcel for every planet, to be honest with you. We should have pretty much all we need here. This should do it. And if we are... If it's really good... We might get all 800 in one shot by just spending a couple extra seconds. Let's see how much we got. Yeah, we're at 700. First storm I've ever had on this map. But good deal. Probably not going to get us to seven to, to 800. No, it's close though. All right, let's get out of here. We don't need any more. We will get the rest as an achievement. All right, we're out of there. We're on to our next place. Okay, so we need to go all the way over there, but as you know, with this hyperdrive, we should be in really good shape. Just make sure you choose the right one. Okay, good deal. Just over an hour literally have all the required resources. We may need some more ferrite, we may need a little bit more cobalt. But for the most part, we're in good shape. Time-wise, it's probably closer to 40 minutes. Third pilgrimage. Uh, let's see what we got. We got a neutron cannon here. Uh, I need to make some room. Technology yeah, we need a lot more Technology carbon. As you can see, I just depleted all of my carbon. Let's bring it in. Oh, crying out loud. Again. If you folks haven't heard me before, I'm going to say it again. Please stop with all the bases. I know you are you want to be there on the planet and think, Hey, it's great. Everybody can see my base from here and use it for this, that, and the other thing. Cut it out. Please stop. All right. 
course, there's a storm going on, so this might be a little more difficult. All right, let's see. Now, this one, we're coming at it from a different direction. Um, that's somebody's base. I'm trying to remember where this one is. Maybe we'll get fortunate. Is it over here? Not. So this one's going to be tough. We're going to be wandering around a lot. Especially if, since I approached it from the wrong direction. Since I got locked in on somebody's base by accident. That is not it either. Wait a minute. Did they build on top of it? No. No, they didn't. Okay. See what I mean? And then I end up wasting time looking for it because of this. searching. This is going on too long. Okay, it's over this general direction behind us to the right. It's a little too far away for me to Tom and Jerry without the Without the storm going on right now. Alright, we're at water. This is not it. Over here. At the base. There it is. Yeah, two more bases. Look at that. I don't know how they managed to do that. How many minutes did I just waste? Okay. Attempt. Get out. Go back. Two. Eight. And thirteen. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Oh, for Pete's sake. That was a mistake. And I don't do it often enough to remember how to fix it. Which requires reading. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's get out of here. So basically, we need carbon, and we need to charge that up. Hydrogen jellies, right. I forgot about that. One, two, and then we can make this, which we need two life support gels, which I just forgot about literally in two seconds. Okay, and then we got our unit. That was really strange looking. 
Okay. Okay. So what do we got? Well, let's go here and get our rewards because we have a little bit of fighting to do. Shield. I'll put it in there. Take amplifier. That'll help in the damage portion of things. We're gonna put this in my ship. That the ship for now. Put this down here. Here. This is what we're looking for. There. Okay. That'll give us a boost. Yeah, I got plenty of fare right now. Where's our carbon? Excellent. Plenty of carbon. Very nice. Okay. Let's go pick a fight. Hey, look. Fight. Can't see. What did I just choose? Thank you. Nope, that's not what I wanted. So we need to get 19 of these guys, and there's going to be collateral damage guaranteed. Okay. Go up to the top of the hill here. There they are. Okay, done. Who's next? Get all that stuff while we're here. We can pretty much stay up forever. And what we need to do, actually, let's be able to track it. Oh, hello. Four. I want the big guy because I want what he can give me. I'm actually done at this point. There's somebody else nearby. Okay, so that should be it. Yeah, Alright, we're detected, so we're going to go ahead and run around now. Because we are actually done. If we try to take off, we will be attacked. So we had a full minute that we have to wait, unfortunately. As much as those radiant shards are very handy right now. I am not going to get any because it will attract their attention. The ship's over there. I'm going to start circling back around once I've landed. seconds. Yep, yeah, I think we've got it. Two, one, and done. Back to our ship. Now we get our achievement. I love those storms. They're fun. Let's get going. We're going to go to an Atlas station next. And on we go. On our way. Okay, good deal. So it looks like we got pretty much everything we needed there. It looks like we're pretty much completed number, what, phase three? Phase three should be done. 
four and five should go rather quickly. Come on, Amy. System. I don't know why. Okay. Good work. I'll go ahead and put him in here. It's not really needed. We're running out of room, obviously, in here. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Ship, ship, starship, what do you got for me? Anything in here I need right now? No, we're done. Okay. Um, wrong way. <laughs> Rampant sea, huh? that's nice. I'm not sure what that is. I missed out on a milestone I wasn't sure of. Okay, here we go. Watch your ears. Start the screen. Okay, up we go. Oh, cluster horde. Okay, so we need to make the next seed, which is the seed of will. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. I don't even know where it goes. Over here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and we are done. Let's just take a quick look with phase three. Just gotta get rid of that or else it'll keep bringing me back to phase three. Alright, so we're on to phase four, pilgrimage, move. On we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this one takes us to... Yeah, it takes us to a planet first, or to a system. We'll go to the system first, and then we do another skip to the next system, which will be our end. If we get to the next system, it's going to be a fight. It'll be a battle going on, but we'll find a way out of that pretty quick. This one's a doozy of a way away, but again, with this hyperdrive, it's not really a problem. So we'll get a battle going here, and we're going to fight off two of the pirates, and then we're going to head out of there. Whoa, no battle this time. Okay, I'll take advantage of that one. here. Wow, the chances of not getting a battle are pretty slim, so and we're not locked on that rendezvous, I guarantee that. So this is where the gamma route comes into play. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to do this real quick. I'm going to make the lubricant, which I can't make a second one because I'm short by 58, but that's next. Okay, I think we've got enough. As a precaution... I'm going to make some more of that, just to play it safe. More chromatic metal. It's always a good thing to get. Alright. Good timing, though. We're at 117. We're on Phase 4. Phase 4 ought to go real quick, for the most part. This planet was so far away. Alright, let's line it back up again. DM. Looks like we're focused on a base rather than the rendezvous. That's okay. Another one? Do we 
further out than I thought we were. Okay, so this one is also painted in line. If I'm not mistaken, the number four is down the slope someplace. I don't think it's over here. I think it's over there, if I remember correctly. It's down a slope towards the bottom. Right here? There it is. Yes. Number five was always the hardest one I had to find. We're getting fortunate to find these guys pretty quickly. And what we're going to do is go here, select that again. Still not doing it. There you go. Did we just... Yeah, well, you know. All right. Extreme hazard planet, so we can't stay long. There we go, probe. So we got 4, 10, 15. I think that's what it was every single time on this one. 4, 10, and then 15. Dump. Finalize. Done. We need that real quick. If I can get it. Why is it bringing me to the third phase? Yep, I know. Get over here. Starship. We're going to make the legs, which we require one more lubricant, but we got one thing here. Let me show you here real quick. We got 200 more gamma root. So there it is. And we don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. Let's go ahead and make it. We got it. Done. That quickly. And we're all set. If I can get in my ship. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we don't need that. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of it. I can get this to take off. There we go. Alright, so we are done here. So, let me get over here because we got to collect the board. And we, instead of going to the Atlas, we have to do the Grand Divergence Milestone. So we have to go visit Nada first. So here's where we go in and out of the anomaly multiple times. I think we're doing pretty good here. There is a built-in 10-minute timer once we get this portion done. 11 minutes, actually. Ah, really? Come on. Got objects there that we can purposely run into. Talk to Nada first. Present. Thank Nada. We're going to go here. Grand Divergence is what we're going to follow. We just immediately leave and go back to our ship as I run into everything on the way. So, mission target in another system. So, we're going to go to another. Other system, basically, through hyperspace. Okay, good deal, good deal. On our way. See, right about now is where Jason is finishing up, just to be clear. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. I just want to be a respectable. Wow, okay. Respectable, you know. Time, I guess. A respectable amount of time done. I don't know. Sorry about that. Got to Moisten the vocal cords a little bit. Okay. Boom. And, oh, here's our battle. Let's turn around. There's these two guys behind me that want to fight first. Calls. Technology recharge. 
Speaking of, how are we doing over here? We don't need the platinum. We will put this in here, and I don't know if we're going to ever use anything out of this. But I don't believe we do. More cadmium, in case we need it. Get rid of the silver. Okay. Anything else? Nope. I guess we're good. We're good. How's my exosuit doing? That looks good. Multi-tool. Good. Uh, where are we going? Uh, on somebody's base, that's for sure. Again. Let's see, you got the communication going on there. We want to get away from that. Uh, looks like it's over here. Nope, not over here. That's a base. Gosh darn it all, man. Right here. Look for the communication balls. Yeah. It's always great to show up on the video here. Come on, get in there. And you get in there. Okay, over here. sure I got the right system here because there's a lot of stars right here. There we go. That was weird. Kind of sucked out of existence there. So we should be completing phase four here very, very shortly. We do have to get some memory seeds. Memory seeds. Divergence cube, and I've never found any use for it in here, so I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. Here we go. Echo seeds is what we need. We'll need a bunch of those. We need two more at least. That comes with the tool that he creates for us in the 10 minute, 11 minute built in timer. Let's take a quick peek at this. So we have this. We'll force a fourth seed. We have to complete the schematic. But the schematic is the 11 minute built in timer. So we'll go to the fifth place. We'll stop at the space station on the way. So we can get some upgrades for our suits and stuff like that. We'll need more room. Go ahead and forge that seed of life. Before we even get to collect the reward. Come on, there's the other one. Okay, we've got the three living pearls there. Do not sell those living pearls. Hang on to those. You need these. Activated Indium, I forgot about that. Yeah, park me all the way out here. Thanks, appreciate it. I'm not in a rush or anything. All these open parking spaces. You gotta park me all the way out there. It's 
funny, I never realized that my visage was looking like Artemis. Or at least Entity Nada, a little bit there. Reveal. Come on. Yep, yep, leave. Okay, we want to go to Nada. Uh, Polo, I mean. And he's going to get the pieces together. We're going to share it, and he needs to build it, and we're going to leave. So now, this is on an 11-minute hold. Let's go to Phase 5 and get the privilege pilgrimage done, shall we? Down we go. Okay. So we're going to leave the space station, we're going to do this while the 11 minute timer goes into effect. So that'll get us to 140 on here. Okay. And... Where is that at? Right over here. So we're going to stop at the space station over here. We should appear right next to it. Almost there. So we're definitely past the hour mark on this one. Now normally I'd head straight for the planet over there on the right, but there's no reason to because we gotta hit the space station first. Hmm. Didn't hit any rocks. Nice. Because we got time. We have to waste 10 minutes. So, use it to your advantage. We can only complete two more stages in phase 5 before we're done. And we have to wait more on Polo anyway. So, let's just do this. So, we got stuff we can sell, we got upgrades we can put in. Start here. Upgrade. Apply. There we go. Purchase this one. Yeah, it's fine. But we got more. Now I'm going to put them up here. It won't let, get, let me fill these in for some reason, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'd have to go to another station to get that done for some stupid reason. Okay. Let's add some multi-tool expansion slots. Let's do that one. I like that one over there. I want to fill that one in. Because at some point it's going to decide this thing's full. Okay, so it just decided. And I don't think we can put any more in it, right? Yep, max storage. Okay, good. Here we're done. So, let's sell this stuff out of our inventory, because I just don't want it in there anymore. Uh, over here. Okay. Sell. So, don't think there's anything in my main inventory at all. Uh, let's see. So, we'll get rid of the multi-tool expansion slot. We can't upgrade it any further anyway. Uh, the floppy eye. We need the salt. Hang on to it. Let's get rid of the salvage data. Uh, I'll keep the activated indium. I don't think we need the storm crystals, but the qualia, I don't know, hang on to it for some reason. Tainted metal gone, the merchant's cube gone. Gravitino balls, just hang on to them. I don't know. You might need them. I keep getting rid of stuff and then finding out I needed them, and then I have to gather them, and that's just a pain. Okay, so we're done here. You're probably wondering to yourself, okay, well, how much time do you have? We'll to find out. Okay, where is our... There it is, down that way. There you go. So we're headed there. We might get into a pirate battle. Okay, so if you want to know, go back to phase four and choose it. There's your timer, we got seven minutes. Okay. We have seven minutes remaining. And since we have to go to the anomaly anyway, this is the better way to do it. Hit the space station first, hit the planet, do the rendezvous, do the, the, the weird thing with the uh, stuff on it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And then when you exit the planet, you can pull in the anomaly, and you might have like a minute left. If we can find this place quickly. But I think we're focused on a another base. Yay. Yes, we are. Ugh. Close enough. 
Another base. Another base. Another base. Every single time. This one's a bit harder to find. So I'm actually... I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to go ahead and land. And look. And see what we can find. It. I just don't feel like... Ending area not clear. Yes it is. It's this way. Right about that way. So that's what? Directly behind me. That way. And I think that might be it. Yeah, I don't mind hitting that. Take a close look around. Yeah, let's drop down. We gotta be close, but I don't know where. We got the time, let's take it. Well, this general direction. A little bit more to my left. So we should start to be able to see it from the air. Ah, there it is. That's it, right there. Good, good, good. So let's take a look real quick, shall we? See how much time we have left? Four minutes, see? Not bad. There we go. That one's done. And this one should be done in a moment. I'm literally looking at my character's butt. Five, eleven, sixteen. Incoming storm. 11 16 Okay, dump Finalize Okay, we're done Okay, so what we're gonna do is go here, collect the reward And then go here, collect that reward So we are literally done, there's no, that we cannot go any further except for building that. So let's go ahead and build it. We're gonna make uh, antimatter housing, where are you? So now we have it, we're done. That's as far as we can get with this now. And over here, see we got more of these that we can't use right now, so I'm not really worried about that. Okay. And you don't get an achievement for creating that last piece. Okay. That's not going to happen until you get everything else done. So, back to here. Schematic, schematic. How much time we got? Three minutes. I literally have three minutes to do whatever I want. That's sad. Well, let's just gather some stuff. Okay, what do we get? Uh, let's see, something we can't use. Hyper mod space module. That's great. I don't know if I'm using any more now. 308 light years. Good grief. Gives us 450. 1450 light years. Good gravy. That's incredible. This we can sell more of. Put you guys down here. We'll get rid of that. Put that in our inventory. We're going to need two more of those. So. And I don't think we can find any uh, in the wild on our own. Even if we scan for them, we're not going to find them. We have to have the tool to be able to find them, so... Yeah, for sure. Alright, but we're going to be coming back here in just a couple minutes. Okay. I guess let's head up to the anomaly and stare at Polo. A little bit. Make him finish. Two minute built-in timer. Unbelievable. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, this should be close enough to the planet, because we're going to be coming back to this planet very, very soon. Alright, anything else? We have the upgrades. We don't really... We're not going to really do anything with those. We're done with them. Now. Good. Can we use that on our multi-tool? 
Yeah, we can. Apply uh, repair kit. There we go. There we go. I didn't think about doing that. I should have done that before. Excellent. Looks good. Alright, let's head over to Polo. He should be finishing up. Oh, we got about 30 seconds to a minute to go. Ooh, that was a good sweep. Oh, just put it up. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Ugh. Good time to go to the restroom, folks. Be quick. Don't forget to wash your hands. This might be my fastest run yet. I don't know. We'll see. Anytime now. Little icon ought to appear over his head. There it is. Done. Yep, I know you've been busy. Could have flown out the window and flew over here, but this works fine. I got a good running upgrade. Okay, we put it in. Okay, we'll get the achievement. Okay, milestone done. We gotta go talk to Nada. And back to Paula. There we go. Over to Polo. Not a Polo. Accept the schematic. Okay. Let's go ahead and put it in our multi tool. Uh, we'll put it over here. I think we have everything, right? There's the dihydrogen, three gravitino balls, see? The radiant shard. Okay. Good. Off to the planet. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Stasis device worth a lot of money, and rusted metal, not worth anything at all. So, get rid of that, I'll just put you down here. Okay, so, we have to go to a dissonant world. Hey look, there's one right in front of me. So we're going to go ahead and land here, look at all those bases, good grief. I wish that when you were in not in multiplayer mode, you could probably turn off other players' bases. I'll have to look into that. Maybe there is a way to do that. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's land. It says it's not clear. There we go. Excellent. There's one right there. And there's one, looks like, right next to it. Good, so we need two. Uh, gotta be careful here. Ah, a mirror unit. That, hijack lasers. Okay, let's see what happens here. Two of them, good. One. Two. Excellent. We got everything we need. Back to our ship. There's our ship. Over this way. Hi. That's kind of creepy. Where did my ship go? I'm sorry. I was looking at something. Right in front of me. Good. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So it looks like we got everything we need. Whoop. Hang on. Oh, can't do it. Alright. A little too close. I was going to try to blast my way there, but apparently that's going to going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. That's okay. It won't take about a few seconds longer. Okay, here we go. So, as you can see in our inventory, we now have two Echo Seats, which is what we need. Now, there's a little bit of running around that goes on here, but this may actually... Of course you're going to park me all the way over here. 
Oh my gosh. But this is actually going to finish out several parts of our Phase 4 and Phase 5 at the same time. I'm going to wait for him to finish gesturing. Yeah. Okay, got to go into the back. Run faster. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put it in. Okay. Take it out. You need that. And then, once you get that achievement, go and put the other one back in. Okay? And you're done. And that will gives you your secondary achievement. So let me show you real quick. So phase four is complete. There we go, see? Yep. And phase five, is almost complete. We gotta locate an Atlas interface, so we have to head out of here. So, last boost to our mission here. One more jump, and we've got this. I really wish it would stop parking me all the way out there. It drives me nuts. Anything else? No? Just that? Okay. There we go. Okay. And this one is pretty far away, but... Again, your ship can handle it. And this is it. Anticipate five minutes is what we've got here left. Five minutes left. We're done. Nothing else needing to be done here. We're all set. We are all finished. Everything else is complete. Uh, we'll commune with the Atlas. We'll forge the final seed, and then we store life to the construct via the uh, anomaly. And then we're all done. So here we go. Yep, we're just going to glide in here real fast. As fast as we can go. We're going to park at the furthest platform possible, so it makes me run further. Keeps wanting to do that. Put me at the furthest place as possible. Present. Leave. And that's it. We're done with the Atlas. And it's screeching. trying to take off right now. Seed of Hope is created. Let me go ahead and collect that. And here we go, back into the anomaly. Anything else? We have to restore life to the construct. Here we go. We got the finalized music. And I'm telling you right now, looking at the time, this is my fastest time thus far. Ugh, you gotta be joking with me here. The furthest from the construct that you can possibly get. 
unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't have Jason's luck in this, I swear. Okay, Echo Collective that we already pulled from the machine in the back. Calms them down. I'm going to collect the Atlantid Reactor just because I've decided that. That's all, nothing special. And... Great. We're done. So I do something a little different than most. As soon as we make it back here, I want to show it completed. This may add a little bit of extra time. Seconds. Okay. Done. Right. Last but not least, that. And see? Accepted. Stuck. I'm not sure what happened. Ah, oh, you've got to be joking. I'm stuck. Nothing's working. Nothing's working. So, let me see what I can do here. We're going to have to crash the game, guys. see what happens here. I don't know what we have that is going on here, but it will not let me get past this. Yep, we're done. Alright, I have to crash the game. Lovely. So you're going to go to a black window here. Unbelievable. Let's see if it actually completed it out. I don't know if it did or not. We're going to find out in a minute. Now, you're going to wonder about the mod. I have a mod that gets rid of the um, pulse lines when I'm flying. Okay. It says an hour and 27. Let's see what happened. I'm very curious because I should have completed it out. It should be done. So an hour 27 would be my fastest time thus far. An hour 29 was the next fastest. But apparently what happened is I hit the escape rather than hitting accept, I hit escape too quickly. And it didn't like that and apparently crashed it. So there's something to consider. Unbelievable. Should be popping in any second here. Any second. Here we go. Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, we got it. So, that was the problem. It's wanting us to get all the rewards. And there it is. And that's what should have happened. And we're done. Now we can go out. So that only saved us a minute and it probably wrecked it. Yeah, see? One extra minute. I'm going to say 127 was the time, but that's okay. But again, that was my fastest time. I was actually doing pretty darn good on that one. Um, lesson to learn. Um, shooting at the ground wasn't working well with the solar ship. So gathering up materials with my mining laser on the uh, Sentinel weapon, I think was actually, the Sentinel multi-tool was actually a better way to go. So that's something I'm going to learn from that. And you saw a lot of different things I was doing there. I'm not sure if a lot of them spit it up or not, but there you are. So hour and 27 minutes, 28, that's fine on the Singularity mission. That's not bad. We'll give this another shot on Monday. Um, I'm putting this video out right away. I will not be doing a live stream Friday as I have some other obligations that is going to 
take precedence. So I'll be a little quiet over the weekend and the anomaly mission won't be out until uh, probably late Sunday if I do get to it. So if it doesn't, it doesn't happen. Otherwise, there'll be some videos coming out on Monday. Thank you very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.